Well, I'm Sarah from Lost in Reviews. This is Marlon Wayans for A Haunted House. Hey. Um, doing some press in Dallas. Um, what makes you want to make a parody film? Because you've done it several times now. Um, you know, I think it's a love-hate thing. I think you first start, start out loving a genre, and then you start hating it. Mm -hmm. And that's when, right between that love-hate line, you do got to do the parody. Yeah. And this came right on the cusp <laughs> of that line. Um, so I was, a, and, and this one's not really a parody. This one's more of a, uh, maybe a send up, but it's, mm -hmm. it's really um, paranormal activity mm -hmm. if it happened to a black couple. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, that, that was the whole uh, process of, the thought process behind the movie was to do paranormal activity mm -hmm. if it happened to a black couple so that it's a different take on a horror movie. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a horror comedy mm -hmm. with parody uh, moments. Yeah. And there was some devil inside in it as well. Some devil inside, some less exorcism. Less exorcism. Some, um, you know, uh, what else? Uh, uh, well, the Ted, a little bit. Oh, Ted. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. No, it, wasn't, it really wasn't. We're kind of. It, it kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> but um, it was a little bit of, but, but honestly, it was more of those three movies. It wasn't nothing else because that. And, and really it was more of a, and paranormal one through three. Okay. Um, what is the process of making these types of films? Because you're taking um, source material and making it your own. So what's the legal ramifications of um, doing uh, that? Well, there's parody laws and you're able to do it as long oh, okay. as, yeah. So you're, you're, parody laws allow you to kind of do it. Okay. Um, but like I said, this is, we use the familiar setting and then we just kind of change stuff up. Like, you know, we, we changed up the characters and we kind of, you know, we didn't so much bash the movie as just make our own, mm -hmm. our own version. It's paranormal activity of having to black people. And this is how we would act. <laughs> yeah. You know, ghost comes and he yeah. scares you and I'm leaving. Um, what was the research process like for this? I mean, obviously you saw those films, but how, how, I mean, I don't know, did you talk to those filmmakers or did you have your own ideas how you wanted to make this? Um, this one, we, we could, just studying like with all the other movies, just sitting there and literally studying. I was like, whew. <laughs> We're all <sighs> okay, need that. <laughs> You're literally studying all the paranormal movies, studying Devil Inside. Um, actually, not studying Devil Inside, we just kind of saw Devil Inside, well, maybe twice because the movie that just came out mm -hmm. while we in per production um, and then um, watching paranormal stage like everything having to do with the supernatural mm -hmm. we actually watched and um, you know and then from there we, we called a couple of filmmakers and asked but they don't want to give their secrets no. but the guys from Devil Inside they were really cool they came down to set actually oh really yeah, and they saw the scene that we did inside the room yeah um, can I see your painting <laughs> they thought that was seems hilarious <laughs> So, um, how long did it actually take you to write the script and get this? Six idea? months, and then another two months to polish and re rewrite some stuff. Okay. And it was always, it's always a work in progress. Like, we was continuously writing the script mm -hmm. up until the day we shot. And once you, you're, up, you're, you're ready to shoot, then it was like, all right, let's start the script. And let's just lose that as, use that as a blueprint. And then we're going to rewrite mm -hmm. everything with the actors. You guys come in and do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we kind of just let everybody improvise. ad -libbed. Oh, yeah. Thirty percent of it is ad lib. Ad lib. Um, ad lib. Ad whatever. <laughs> ad lib. <laughs> yeah, I let mean, all the acts come in. Ad lib. <laughs> um, did you shoot it low budget style like the others, yeah, or? Yeah, shot it micro budget style. You know, a little, slightly more than micro budget style. Yeah. And, you know, but for Hollywood, um, roughly pretty pretty inexpensive. You know, under ten million dollars. You know, nowadays. You got movies costing two hundred fifty million dollars, so yeah. this one was like okay. And then I got a great cast, you know, really blessed with a really good cast, really strong. Dave Keckner, uh, Nick Swartz, and Essence Zach, and Cedric the Entertainer, J. B. Smoove, A. F. L. Crocker, all uh, Atlanta, yeah. uh, Ebanks, Eddie Daly. Everybody came in and, and did that thing, and it's it, you know helped make the movie um, funny. And the sets. I mean, did you just use a house, or did you one, actually one build house. sets? No. No, we had no money for set. <laughs> Everything was the house. Yeah. Like the man, where the Mandingo party was, was the garage. <laughs> the same house. The basement was the garage, just redone and redressed. Like, I had an amazing set designer, Fred Andrews, and just, yeah. you know, uh, uh, production designer. Just, him and his team just killed it. So, it was in a neighborhood, right? 
It was in the neighborhood. So what did the neighbors think? I don't know. We bought them fat burgers uh, three times a week, and they was happy with it. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. He was well, like, boy, it ain't loud, but damn, these burgers are true. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, that, but that'd be cool if someone wanted to film a movie like right next to my house. I'd be like, okay, it's sweet. It's cool the first week, and after that, oh, it's okay. like, okay, pack your Hollywood <laughs> stuff and get the hell out of my house. So it was in L.A.? or Yeah, we shot in Stevenson Ranch, Steve in, um, which is like a suburb out in L.A., in Valencia. Okay. Um, how long did you film the stuffed animal sex scene? Because there, I mean, it was long in the movie, and then in, in the credits, there's more. So I was just wondering. It was th three, like, 20 minute takes. <laughs> and you just went at it. Just like. Yeah, put it this way I'm going to put the whole take on the DVD with porn music behind it. <laughs> it was good. It was good. And there's going to be some sick person out there that swear to God they're going to masturbate to it. Oh, yeah. And that's Definitely. Gonna be even sicker. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, definitely. It may be me. <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. Yes, I have a stuffed animal fetish. <laughs> um, what do you think of, you know, the scary movie franchise that's now they're filming like the fifth one now? I know you aren't involved really anymore, but I'm not involved at all. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, do you get any cut any throwbacks or nothing? Nothing from it. Nothing. Obviously. Did you think it would last that long? Did this would keep going. Um, you know, after 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 two. Um, for us, it it it, it, it was it, it's dead. To yeah. Me. I mean, once we left, I'm not looking back. Going, I, I want to do that movie. I, I'm on to the next. You know, this could have been a great scary movie five, but you know, things happen in business, and you don't yeah. get mad about it. I wish it love. Um, we created it, and um, that was a great time, and we made a lot of money. And, you know, it made a lot of money and it was successful and people loved the first two yeah. loop and you know, some some people maybe enjoy the third and the fourth. I don't know many, but uh, you know, we had a great time and so, um, but that chapter's kind of done. And yeah. This is a new chapter, A Haunted House, and um, it's got the same laughs, but it's a different tone. This yeah. one has more of a story. Mm -hmm. This one has a, a relationship you kind of, Invest in a little bit, you know, like you like Malcolm and Keisha together, you know, yeah. and, and it's fun that the relationship they have relationship stuff, so it works outside of being a parody. And if you've never seen one of these movies, it's just a really funny horror yeah. comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Follow me on Twitter at Marlon L. Wayans. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should actually do that. Um, last question: um, You have a Richard Pryor movie coming up. No, that's lying dormant. I hope, I wish it happens, but it just it's not happening. It's not happening. And if it does happen, I can't wait because I'm on stage, you know, every weekend, yeah. making people laugh and uh, trying to um, make people laugh and prepare for that moment when I do Richard Pryor. So when it comes time, you know, I'll, I'll so you're invested. Happy. You're I'm invested. You want to do it no yeah. matter what. Yeah. If it happens, that'd be great. If not, then. You know, I know somewhere, some some way, somehow, God will bless me in the journey to do it. So what is that? What is next for you after this? I got a show that I'm producing for my nephews called Second Generation Wayans. It will be on BET. Uh, it's about how they're coming up in the industry and okay. how hard it is. For Reality them. show? Or? No, it's a, um, it's a scripted. Okay. Um, and that's January 15th. And, um, yeah, I'm just touring the country with my brother and then Haunted House, January 11th. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marlon. Thank you, love. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she thinks I want to make her a stuff to her. <laughs>